It's a bit um, daunting at first because I think the school that I had been, so I'd been referred to three three schools for three interviews, um, and all of them seemed really, really like really um, good quality schools. Um, ANZ UK gave me the opportunity. They, they told me a lot about the school and what kind of, what I should expect um, expect to hear and the questions I should expect to, to get. Um, so they, they prepared me really well. They told me, you know, um, you know, they're looking for a math teacher in this age or and stuff like that. Um, and they told me, gave me the names of the, the people I was talking to, and that allowed me to do some research on the school uh, beforehand, which really helped help my own um, understanding of the school and help me in the interview. It's a little bit different, but for me it was not too, not too different, I don't think. Um, I think once you sort of, once you sort of get into it, it's just like another regular interview. The first thing I'll say is to do lots of research on the school. Um, I had a little bit of paper next, next to my, next to my computer, which the, the school can't see, but I just had the names and the name of the school down, um, name of the principal or whoever you're talking to. Um, then I just had some like key values that the school had placed on their website um, and I tried to include that in my responses where possible. Um, and when I was on the Skype interview I was trying to give as many practical examples as possible for my own teaching um, which they seemed to really appreciate. So for example I think they talked about um, you know, what does a good class look like to you and I gave a specific example of something I did the week before in my own math class which is a practical um, example the students actually got up out of their seats and moved around in a maths class and they really appreciated that the fact that um, the students weren't always sitting down and they, they appreciated that practical example real life example help me with questions that I could expect to find um, I think there's a question he said expect a lot of questions on safeguarding which is our duty of care equivalent um, so I was well prepared for that and um, and again, he said, you know, come up, just think of things you do in your own class and relate that to your, um, in your interview. So he really uh, helped me with my, with my, with the process and he told me about the teachers and who I was talking to and the names who I was talking to.